Hello everyone, and welcome back to Yu-Gi-Oh! World Championship 2010. Uh, we've been making some sterling progress uh, through the early game. Uh, hello? Can I... thank you. Can I have control please? Uh, yeah, we've been making some sterling progress through the early game, uh, and we have one bit of the story mode tutorial, I think, to do. Um, we've got a few structure deals lined up with this person. Oh, they'll always be waiting for me, that's nice. Uh, we've got a couple of structure deals lined up, but we have a slightly more terrifying task. And that is we have to learn how to ride a motorbike. Now a motorbike is just about the most dangerous way of travelling on any number of wheels uh, in existence without having like a jet engine strapped to you. Do you run a training starts for tomorrow? Okay, that's fine. We've got the day of rest. We, we can go to sleep and think about our problems. Um, yeah. So, so motorbikes is quite dangerous. Playing motorbikes while playing card games, probably significantly more dangerous, although to be fair I've not seen statistics for it. Uh, this is just a daft idea. But it's a daft idea that we have to go along with. Uh, and we're still sleeping on the sofa as well. Uh, I don't know how to sleep. <laughs> I genuinely actually don't know how to progress from here. <laughs> I have to go out this way, do I know? Okay. So do you run our trainings on the east side of town tomorrow? How do I rest till tomorrow? Go back to your room and take a rest. I tried. I, I, I tried. It would let me. <laughs> Hang on a sec. Dizzy is struggling with a video game. Right, this is my room. How do I take a rest? Yeah, I know that one. Okay. Oh! Ooh, that's very exciting. A new pack and new structure deck. Uh, we've got items, apparently. There is no item. Okay, we do not have items, apparently. How, how do I rest? Hello? <laughs> Am I missing something? Save, yes. Okay. Data saved. Alright, there is literally nothing I can do. Have I soft locked myself? Have I hard locked myself? Um that sure would be awkward. That show sure would be real awkward. <laughs> um. Okay, so it's possible that I'm going to pay the price for trying to do strike deals. Um. The east side of town is over here. Yeah, this is east, right? I don't think I can get to it through here. I think this is just empty. Yeah, okay, it's definitely very empty. Now I'll just go back to your room and take a rest. 
How do I go back to my room and take a rest? <laughs> uh, there's no instructions on the screen, are there? For, like, what to do next? No. Hmm. Well, this is an interesting problem. As problems go. Hmm. Dizzy may have bought it, guys. Uh... Dizzy may have bought it bad, guys. Let's uh, head out of this mode. Head back in, see if that helps anything. We might not be learning how to ride a motorbike today. Um, okay, this is when Yugi. Uh, <laughs> this is when when Yugi falls down, and uh, this is when Dizzy decides that it might be time to take a very short break to uh, Google the problem. So I'll be right back, guys.
Okay guys, I'm back. Um, I won't lie, I can't find anybody else who seems to have had this problem. Uh, and I can't find any way of fixing this problem. Um, I am completely stumped. I think that the game is a little bought, and it might even be because I put in that cheat code on this thing to get the new outfits um, and hair. And if I bought it just to get new hair, I'm going to be a little bit annoyed, honestly. Uh... <laughs> new hair? Not worth balking the whole game. Uh, I wonder if I can load a save state, and that might be a little less bought file. Let's... Okay, I have no idea how much progress we've just lost by doing that, but let's see if... Oh, sorry, you can't see what I'm seeing. Apologies. Um, yeah, I have no idea how much progress we've lost. Probably a few structure decks. Um, I'm gonna see if I can get down here now. But I suspect the answer is still gonna be no. Okay, can I go back to my room now? Hmm. And there's not a rest option that I'm missing. Oops. No, there doesn't seem to be. Okay. Um, well, this is a little bit disappointing, I won't lie. Uh, so, what are we going to do? Um, what we're going to do is, I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to play a little bit of a different Yu Gi Oh game. I'm going to play some Legacy of the Duelist, uh, as we don't seem to be able to progress on that. Uh, and then off stream, I'm going to have a good odd look and see what the problem is. Uh, right. So, Legacy of the Duelist. Um, should be on your screen right now, it isn't. There we go. Uh, Legacy of the Duelist is one of the more modern Yu-Gi-Oh! games. Uh, it's the most modern, like, single-player Yu-Gi-Oh! game that I know of. It is inferior in almost every way, honestly, to the World Championship series. Like, it has the newer cards, and I guess the, the graphics are obviously a, a, a lot nicer to look at than, than Pixley DS art. And that's about it, to be honest. Like, I don't think the... Uh, I, I, I don't think the enemy AI opponents are as interesting. I don't think the storyline... Because the storyline for Legacy of the Duos is literally just like an abridged version. If I go into the single player campaign, it's literally like just an abridged version of all the duels from the series. So like, you know, I'm not going to say that the World Championship series has the most amazing single player of any uh, of any, any, any game, but like, e e even by that standard, this is disappointing because it's not even a particularly original storyline. Like, there's something to be said for experiencing the, the the life of the characters and stuff but it's it's just quite boring and then the ai enemies i don't find them particularly compelling so there's non-campaign enemies there's duelist challenges so for example there's all of these guys i don't find them particularly compelling to face even though there are technically quite a lot of them and they do have quite a few decks 
And then the decks that they have, so for example, uh, maybe that was a bad example. Like, why does he have a kaiju deck? He actually has a vaguely sensible deck. But like, some of them have absolutely... Why do you have a Gear Gear deck, for example, you know? Uh, you actually do have an Amazon ass. Why do you have a Ghost Trick deck? You're an Archfiend Duelist. Why do you have a Ghost Trick deck? Um... Yeah, so... It's interesting. And then... Because the campaign... So let's, I'll, I'll, I'll do a campaign deal to kind of show you. Uh... Right, uh, sorry, 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 sorry. If you jump in with a story deck to the campaign, um, that's odd because I thought I was playing this Titan in the Steel, but anyway, it doesn't really matter. Because you are like limited in what deck you can use, so the same way how um, you have one supplied deck for the first bit of the story in World Championship. Uh, you, I've got a supplied deck for the story mode, but you can only unlock a deal by beating it in story mode with the story deck. And because of that, when you're lumbered with a fairly pants deck, like a lot of the anime duelists have, Oftentimes you're just sort of left bashing your head against the wall. A little bit like with the structure decks, except at least the structure decks are sort of designed to be moderately balanced, whereas not all of these decks are. Some of these decks are just bad and have no good cards in them. Uh, and there's nothing you can do, because it's a you know, Yu Gi Oh is a game about making your deck, but when you're playing in story mode with the story deck, you can't improve that deck. Uh, what have we got? So two Cyber Gymnasts, Cyber Primer, Blade Skater. Well, this is a disaster. What else have we got? Etol Cyber. Cyber Tutu. Well, it's not the most inspiring combination of things, is it? Let's grab an Etol Cyber. What does Cyber Primer do? A cleaner, possibly. You have to be Tribute Summoned. I should have actually reinforced my Tutor at all. I hadn't realised you had... I thought you, you had 800 attack and 800 defence. You've got 1800 defence. So you'll be my, my line of defence for this first turn. Um, I'm going to actually update the stream title. Um, there we go. Updated stream title. What have we got? We've got double sum, so you can tribute in one turn. Amazing. Summon Skull! Fantastic! And I'm guessing, actually, honestly, already we probably can't do very much about this. <laughs> uh, what have we got? Cyber Tutu can attack directly. Oh, wait, you can just you can pop face attack position monsters. Okay, we'll keep you then. Uh. We don't need type of 2 2. Oh, yeah, 800 points of sweet, sweet damage, never mind. <laughs> wow, okay, so that's a hard counter to this deck then. <laughs> wow, yikes. What have we got? Magic Hole Golem. Once per turn, we can select one face up monster I control. Its attack is hard and it can attack directly. <laughs> um, so there's various other things that are bad about this game, uh, which we'll get into later. Um, 
But but one of them that that was annoying me is the the controls. Like there's no control on keyboard. So I'm keyboard and mouse, but it's it's principally keyboard because you've got to activate stuff with the enter key, for example. There's no keybind for scrolling down this text. And it's very like I can't I can't do it with the mouse, so I have to it's a disaster. It's a total disaster, control scheme wise. Um Uh, I uh, they also, when, when like, your opponent activates something, like in World Championship, when your opponent activates something, you get a chance to read through the whole text. You can take as long as you like. In this, your opponent activates something, you get half a second glimpse at the text, at most. You've got no hope. Uh... Are we just running things into him to do some damage? I guess. He doesn't seem to have any monsters about. Great, dark coal. Amazing. <laughs> well, if we keep this up, we might actually win anyway. <laughs> In spite of the Death Counterblow stuff, just because he doesn't seem to be drawing any monsters. Okay, no, now, now we're stuffed. Well, we've got Dark Coal, actually. Skull Archery with Lightning. Well, you're a little late, aren't you? Um... Right, throw out Dark Coal. Uh, summon this attack directly. Oh my god, we're not even within one turn of a win at the moment. <laughs> even with this, oh my god. What a disaster. What a total disaster. If I win, this is this will be the worst duel I've ever won. Way we've got another this counterblow on the field. Okay. <laughs> um Okay. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. It's too late now though. Right. <laughs> okay, we've got MST, there we are. Right. <laughs> what a disaster this duel is. We're gonna attack directly with Blade Skater for game on an empty field. <laughs> oh my god. This is tragic. <laughs> uh, but you see so you see how there's no good cards in my deck. It doesn't look like there's many good cards in his deck either, to be fair. I, I have no idea where we are in the story, to be honest. Um, did you come back? I don't remember you coming back, but okay, let's say you came back. Uh, where were we? What was I thinking of? You know, I have no idea. Um, yeah, so, so, oh, there's no good cards in that deck. Um, And there's nothing you can do to change that deck, because that's the story deck. You can't improve upon it in any way. So if you're stuck with a a, a weak deck, a, a lame duck deck against an enemy who doesn't have a lame duck deck, there's sort of nothing you can do about it. Um, 
on the flip side, if you use a deck of your own, I'm going to use Gladiator Beast, and I'm guessing I'm going to be I'm going to have one within sort of three turns. Well, three of my turns. That's normally what happens. Uh, because I've got cards in my deck that are from a lot later than the the GX era. You know, I've got... I'm not sure if I have the spaces, actually. He might not be in this game. But I've certainly got uh, Gladiator Beast Tame Redditor, who's a late card, who's really, really strong. Like, he is unbelievably powerful. And and the worst thing is, he's unbelievably powerful, and he's not even, like, meta levels of good in the modern Yu-Gi-Oh meta, just to give you an idea how busted the wide open Yu-Gi-Oh is. Look at this guy. So, um... Oh. How do I how do I scroll down? I have to click and drag. Oh my god! Um, so you get them out with two level five or higher Gladiator Beast monsters, which in the early days of Gladiator Beast was not so easy because their early level five class monsters were this guy, uh, this guy, and. Possibly this guy. So early on, that's that was all they had. Um, and then they had Spartacus and Alexander, who were high level, but their shtick was you couldn't get them out with just any gladiator beast, you had to get them out with a specific gladiator beast. And it wasn't one of the amazing ones. It was Hopamus for Spartacus, who's a defensive boy, and... Uh, Dimakari for Alexander, and Dimakari is alright, but like his his shtick is that he gets two attacks, and in a toolbox field denial deck, he's middlingly good only. Um, but nowadays you've got Vespasius, who is easily searchable, and gives tw has 2300 attack, and gives plus 500 attack to himself and everything else. So he's insanely good. Uh, and very easy to get out. You've got Augustus, who's a level 7 or 8, 2800 monster who you can just get out. Uh, and even failing all that, you've got a noxious tiger claw boy who's now I can never ever ever remember. Uh, who He is not powerful stat-wise, but he can't be destroyed by battle, which is great for a gladiator beast. And he does a little bit of graveyard setup. So that you've got loads of cards that make it really easy to get him out. And then his effect, I didn't actually go as far as showing you his effect. His effect is you just get out a fusion monster for free. Uh, which, for the most part, means you've either got a free Geysaras destroying two things on the field, or you've got a free Heraklos, who's a lockdown monster. Not in this deck, definitely. Like, I can't remember if Vespasius is, but there's a fusion monster who requires Vespasius who is a free once per turn monster negate with 3500 attack points and something else as well that you can just get with tame red turns unbelievably good um anyway so yeah this i i'm not trying to be arrogant when i say i'm expecting this to be a walkover i'm expecting this to be a walkover because I can take cards from anywhere in the history of Duel Monsters to fight against a not a not particularly great deck in the first place because it's designed that you have to be able to beat it with Blumen Etwal Cyber. Um, no, I don't. I don't want to activate my Indomitable Gladiator Beast. For goodness' sake. Quarry, back to deck. Um, who do I want? Who do I want? I don't. Yeah, I don't think I have a spacious, which is honestly for the best because he's obscenely good. Uh, I've got defensive tactics, but unfortunately, secretary is in my hand. And you have nothing on field at all. Uh, I can get out of Retiari. I can get out Dimkari. Let's get out Dimkari. 
not not a common choice, but like he's one of the ones that's it's kind of okay to get him out if your opponent has nothing, because in the field denial deck, if you don't have anything on the field anyway. Alright, let's set this horrible card. It's horrible because it's a quick play spell, and so it will be prompting me. Do you want to use this card all the time? Like, you don't need to prompt me twice in the draw phase when nothing has happened, to if I want to use this card. Like, come on. Come on, game. Uh, yeah, I might as well MST that. What was it? See how many times I had to press a button just to, to get through a period when nothing was happening? Double spell. The skull spell card target spell in your opponent's graveyard. Hmm, okay. Um, I guess we'll get a sun right. Oh my god. Oh my god. You don't and I also don't know why it prompts me twice in the damage step. It does that, I don't know why. This game is a lot of pressing the no button. Ah but yeah, he gets double attack, which is nice. Main phase two, yes. Yeah, hello. No, I'm not chaining. Um, now I could. I think I'm running Alexander. I'm not running Alexander! That's a shocker. I mean, he's not that great, but I normally do run him for posterity's sake, if nothing else. Yeah, so Noxious, level 5. This is the Noxious Tiger Claw guy that I was talking about. Uh, he loads up your grave, which is generally quite helpful. Gladiator Beasts were one of the quite early ones to to use the whole... Actually, your graveyard is basically just a second hand thing that now all you here does. Um, and they... I, like, I'm not going to say they weren't... Uh, it wasn't a problem. It definitely wasn't as much of a problem back before they had things like not just to load their grave. Um, because I used to love using a Prisma to load a grave. I, I, we still use Prisma in the deck today, or I do anyway. Um, I want a Bestiary grave. Bestiary is like the key card of the deck. Pretty much. No, no. Right, so now we've got two level fives out. Two fairly bad level fives, like in the grand scheme of, of dual monsters. Outside of the context of a Gladiator Beast deck, they would not be they would not be seen or heard from. Uh, but because of that we've got Tamer Editor out. Uh, and Tamer Editor will get us a Heraklanos. And from this point we have uh, one. And this is turn four, so this is my second turn. Um, the chances of us not attacking for game next turn are very, very slim. He has to basically have two good spell trap cards. One to get rid of my card in hand for Heraklos' effect, and the second one to actually do something. Because, <laughs> you know, if he just sets and ends, he's got until my main phase to, to do something with that set card, and then I just activate Tamer Editor, get out Geysaris, and blow up whatever he had, for no cost whatsoever. What was it? It was... there's counterplay. It wouldn't have helped him anyway, as it turns out. Um, and if we really want to combo it up, then I can actually 
tagged by Geysaris that I just got and Heraklonos back into the deck for another Tamer Editor, which means that in future turns I'll be able to get two guys out in a turn. And he has the same stats offensively as uh, Geysaris, so I'm not losing anything, and I, he can bring out, back out the Heraklonos that I just sent in. <laughs> It's a little ludicrous sometimes. And I could summon Retiari. He's about as useful in my hand for Heraklonos Negate as he is on the field. Either way, it doesn't make any difference because I'm going to attack you directly. And I might as well, Indomitable. I wouldn't in a normal game, but you get extra points, I think. The same as in World Championship, You're doing extra bonus damage, so yeah. I'll do an obscene amount of damage. No, not again. Thing. Uh, yeah, so I can... Uh, tab, dual score. Yes, yeah, so a number of turns. One without taking damage. Monster with high attack did lots of damage. Yeah, so the story mode is not that challenging once you've got a, a, a decent deck of your own. Um, oh, on the subject of getting a decent deck of your own, <laughs> there's two things I want to say. One is that the packs are pretty stupidly designed. So in, in uh, World Championship, we were playing with packs that were... This, I didn't mean for the stream to just be a two hour long rant about Legacy of the Duelist. It might become that. <laughs> just, just be aware. Uh, no, I don't want that. I want card shop. So you unlock packs as you go through the story. You will notice that for the entire GX arc, so this is, this is original Yu-Gi-Oh, then GX, then 5Ds, then uh, and then something else and something else. I can't remember what the latest series is called. Uh, this will be Zexel, and this will be Vrains? And this will be... no idea. Okay, that might not be accurate. I can't remember. Um, but yeah, you'll notice for the whole GX arc, there are only six packs. The six packs are named after certain characters, almost completely arbitrarily, it must be said. Like, Jaden's does have E-Heroes in it, that's fair. I think they might all have their own monsters in them, but like... You'll notice that there's 314 unique cards so that's this down here. There's 314 unique cards in every pack, which is an obscenely high number. It means you're pulling for ages and ages and ages to get anything like the thing that you want. For contrast, if I if I go to my uh, little Google tab, um, somewhere I've got all of the packs from. Yeah. So, for example, in in uh, World Championship Edition 1, which is the first pack we unlocked in uh, World Championship. It has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, that's 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 60, 1, 2, 3, 4, that has 64 unique cards in it, which is one-fifth the unique cards of one of these packs, more or less. Like, that's a huge difference, and you are, you are pulling trash for ages and ages and ages and ages and ages. Um, you'll see, I've, uh, I've got unique I've got some cards from these ones that I've never actually pulled from. Uh, that's because you can also get cards... So when you beat an enemy, you probably saw that at the end of the last campaign duel I did, but I'll do another one, just quickly. Sure, let's fight you. You might be a little bit more challenging, because you were a boss in the anime. Um... Do -do -do. Sure, whatever, Kagimaru. 
The apprentice thinking, i.e. flipping a coin. <sighs> oh wow, that's uh, a lot of things. That's a lot of things that I'm going to very much enjoy popping, to be honest. Uh, Got on the quarry. What have we got? DNA surgery. Cool, oh, don't care. Metal reflect slime. I, I actually I don't care about the, that metal reflect slime at all. Yeah, I'm going to continue attacking. I'm going to run into it and take a whole bunch of damage. Don't bother me that much because gladiator beast. Do 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 do. do. And I'm going to destroy his entire field this turn, pretty much. Um, so Augustus gets up the SDI from my hand. Oh, you don't have 2800 attack, you only have 2600 attack. The SDI pops that face down, and then my main face too. I get a Gazarus. It pops two. We're gonna leave DNA surgery up. Mm -hmm. Burn my slime. Oh, die face down. Right, what one the face down? It's quant two quantum cats. Already in the main phase, so I can set that. So that'll be me. I've had more stunning first turns, but not many. <laughs> um, like the 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 two end fields. Oh, okay, that's a little annoying. But even then, like without any monsters on field, that doesn't actually upset me because I can just proving ground. Um, but if I didn't have proving ground, that might upset me a little bit. But you, you can see, okay, he's got a lockdown card that's a little more annoying to me than anything the Archfiend deck had. Do do do, that needs proving ground. Uh, is there a check? There's a check field button. 1500 or more attack. So I want the highest attack under 1500 that I've got. Which I think is Retiari? Yeah, it's Retiari. Nope, not you, Retiari. I'm losing track of where my cursor is in the menu. Shuffle, 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 shuffle. shuffle. I want another bestie boy. Do I want another bestie boy? No, I want a um, noxious. Because you're a level 5 plus. So I can tag you back for Terror Editor. Oop. Uh, oh, I'm running Spartacus instead of Alexandra. Okay, I see. Best Boy and Grave. That, there are many names for, for Bestie Ari. Bestie Boy, Best Boy, Best, etc. Right, so you guys get me Tame Editor, and Tame Editor gets me guys Zarus to pop both of his cards. Now, loading up his graveyard with trap cards can be a little bit of a problem if he gets out Uriah. Um... So this isn't a foolproof strategy so far, but he does only have one card in hand and an empty field as of, wait for it, now. Um, so I'm not too overly worried. 
I've always wanted to run a Sacred Beast deck. I don't think they've ever been good. <laughs> uh, like, the individual Sacred Beasts are, are powerful enough cards, but they're just kind of awkward enough that, that I, I don't think they ever really get run. Oh, another Messenger of Peace. No, I'm not going to change anything to that. Oh my god, game! We get it. You want me to activate Call of the Haunted. I know. I know. Um... I actually might activate Call of the Haunted. To get up Best Boy. Get Secutor out of my hand. I tank using him. Into my second Geysaurus. Um, in the version of this I run on Dueling Book, I actually only have two Geysaurus in my extra deck to make way for um, whatever the hell Vespasius's big boy form is called. I probably should run three, but I like having the. Um, I like having the weird oddball ones. So uh, Dragseed is a really oddball one because he's a Link, not a tank fusion. But I kind I like having the Rokius, even though I never ever use him. I like having the option to use him. Ditto Gaiodias. Ditto Esadari. I mean, Esadari can be helpful in the Esadari. Having two Esadari in your extra deck can turn four low-level gladiator beasts into a tamer editor before you attack. Um, but it's not really vital. So this is going to be an obscene board. Um, take it to attack position and then get out. This is an obscene board even without the really good ones. Or the really good one, the, the best one. Because Heraclos, although he's hefty and a good lockdown, um, he used to be a bit tough to get out. He wasn't very tough because he's only Laquari plus two. But he used to be a bit tough to get out. Um, it, back in the day, your strategy was usually Bestiari plus one into Geysarus. Geysarus goes back for Darius, who gets somebody from your graveyard. So that's two plus the quarry into into Heraklinos at the end of the turn. That used to be. A gladiator beast turn. Oh, something's up with little uh, PNG tuber dizzy. You are right there. You don't look like you're having a good time. Are you are you troubled with me speaking too loudly? Hmm, curious. Uh Yes, yeah, so that used to be a turn. Nowadays you never actually fusion summon Heraclos. You just take red throw it out. Uh and you get boards that look like this. With... I dread to think how many attack points worth on the field. Uh, 2600 times 2 is 5200 plus 6400. That's over 10,000 attack points on the field. Um, yeah. I, I will state, I will reiterate, that these pieces are not meta and they can do this. Um, yeah, so when you beat them, uh, when you beat a story mode duelist, you get one card, three cards from their deck. Uh... And I think it like cycles through, so you get like, you, you draw without replacement one card from the deck until you have their whole deck and then you start drawing again. I think that's how it works. You also get quite a lot of, of duel points, uh, or DP. Um, so as you can see, I've got uh, 370,000 points uh, like this, which I will use for the card shop to show you. So <laughs> this is all a big sidetrack when I was ranting about the card shop. So one of the problems is there are too many unique cards in each pack. So you're pulling through a lot of stuff you don't want, a lot of chaff to get to the things you do want. The second problem... Um, so that's, that's also why I have a bunch of cards unlocked from people who I've never actually bought from. The other problem 
So this is the, the pack. Okay. Three problems. One, number of things. Two, partly I think because of the number of things, a lot of the cards in the packs have no right being there. So Zuzu Boyle, you know, I've got 314 out of 314 uniques. That's because Zuzu Boyle is the card pack that has Gladiator Beasts in. But, but why? Why? I, as far as I know, this character doesn't run a Gladiator Beast deck and never interacts with anyone who does run a Gladiator Beast deck. Why are they in this pack? Also, how could they not even come up with six packs for some of these? There's only five for, for Zexel and Brains and whatever the hell this is. Beast Stars, probably. <laughs> um, okay, so that's problem number two with buying packs. And then I'm just going to buy this. So you'll see, I I've clicked A and I've got this option on screen. You buy your packs one at a time and you have to sit through this unskippable animation every single time. Ooh, it makes me blood boil. It makes my blood absolutely boil. Uh, we drew Arcana Force 4, the Emperor. It's okay, I guess. We also drew Death of a Llama, which will upset my brother because he loves llamas. Um, the other, 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 other thing that really grinds my gears, um, even more than, than, than what we've got so far, is one of the only good things about Duel Links and Master Duel, the, the modern PvP Yu-Gi-Oh video games, is, is their battle pack buying system. So partly it's when you buy ten of a kind, you're guaranteed some sort of rarity of them. I, I don't know exactly how it works, but you're guaranteed that a card of X rarity or higher. Uh, or maybe like if you don't pull one, you're guaranteed one in your next set of 10. I don't know exactly how it works, like I said. The other thing is, in those games, you're pulling without replacement. In, the, in this game, with your packs of 340 different unique cards, you're not even pulling without replacement. I have about six... Can I find out exactly how many? How do I how do I create and enter create new deck? I don't want to create a new deck from a recipe. I just want a yeah start a deck with no cards in it. Oh, also you can't see this, but I've got like a blooming. Windows basic text box on screen. Uh, hang on, can I show you this? Display capture. Yeah, look at this! Look at this! How low budget is this? They couldn't even bother to have an in-game text box to type in the name of my deck. Come on, games. Come on, come on, open fish or whatever the hell your name is. Um... Boinsky, Boinsky. Uh, yeah, okay, we're just gonna call it the user deck three. Uh, filter, text search. Uh, you can't see this, but I've got another stupid text box. Okay, no, I can't see because I, I pulled significantly more than three D Hero Malicious, but it's only given me three. Um. But it's, it's just a... Uh... Also, could they not think of more interesting names than having an evil hero and a Destiny hero both called Malicious? Come on, guys. Uh, yeah, it's just, it's just a disaster. Uh, oh boy, that was a long rant. I think I might have been ranting for the last half an hour. Um, I need a drink. I really do. Uh, not that kind of drink. I've just got Pepsi in front of me. Let's go into deck edit. So I've got two decks that, that I've put together. This one is, is less tested. Uh, it is obviously an endless deck. Um, it makes only limited use of the extremely abusable Super Poly. I wonder if that's because Super Poly is... I need to filter. 
Well, Super Napoleon is only semi limited. How do I get out of this? Yeah, also, like, okay, I'm here. How do I how do I get out of this? It doesn't really tell you. Um I could be running a second Super Poly. I've I've obviously decided that I don't need it. Um, but I'm not sure why. Uh, we'll run the enemy I'll stack up against somebody. Um, do, 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 do. Sure, deal for hire. Okay. Use deck. Enios. Ancient plane. One of the things that is okay is the quite high def card art. It's high def than I think I've seen in a lot of 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 anywhere. Um, which is nice. It's crisp and clean. Uh, I don't know if I want to go first or second with this deck. I'm going to go first. <laughs> Right, what have we got? Duel. Draw phase, standard phase, main phase. I've got an equal. Uh, I'm not going to use it yet, I'm just going to throw out Neos Elias and end. For now. <laughs> That's not fun. Oh wow, that's extremely not fun. That's kind of obscene in a way. Uh, uh, it's certainly a space. We're in the modern era of Yuki now, so we can both have a field spell of our own, which honestly. It, like, it's a silly change for me to not be a fan of, but I'm kind of not a fan of it in a way. Um, I'm sure this is going to come back to bite me in the butt, but we're going to do it anyway. Yeah, what have we got? Phoenix Woman Blast. Oh, don't do that. Okay, I'm going to equal so I'm not drawing into Elias again. I don't want probably Stratos. Let's go Stratos. Ouch. Ouchy, ouch, 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 ouch. Yeah, see, that was how long I got to look at that ancient gear tank. <laughs> Great, thanks. Um, I'm also wishing I'd picked Prisma. Oh, Oversoul. Uh, you're not any use, are you? Well, no, I'm not in the graveyard to get that happy with them. That's a problem. Hmm. Okay. Uh, let's get Neos, because I can discard Neos with Akadolphin and then o Oversoul it. That's my sort of grand strategy at the moment. Uh oh, this is a good Skadjachon Dragon. Uh, this is really not good. Yeah, okay, the Aeneas deck, nowhere near as good, but on the other hand, we do have Molly, who is uh, an abominable beast. Do I even have Aqua Neos in here? No, okay, I've got Storm Neos in here. I see. Um, Alright, let's get out Molly. Well, this isn't going as stunning well. But he's only got two cards in hand, and one of them is Gadgetron. Oh, the other one's actually Gear Soldier. Ow, 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 ow. Yep, ow. Big owls. 
Necrosaints. Throwing out Apodolphin. That activating your effect. Discarding regular Neos. Uh, otherwise, take 500 damage. Oh, okay, well. Ow. It's worth it though. Animations for the super duper key cards are kind of cool. Um, okay, we might still lose, but we might not. Oh my gosh, the chickens are uh, being very loud outside the window. I definitely can't special summon that, okay. Right, are you greater than? Greater than or equal to? Fantastic. Right, Necrochet to Graveyard. Destroy Gadgetron and inflict damage to you. I'm at 74,250 damage out of 100,000 damage worth of progress towards an achievement. Oh, for goodness sake. Let's pretend you destroy all spawn chapters. I probably. Oh, oh. What's the worst you can do? I've got the spare Neo space. Oh, but I've got. If I get out Air Hummingbird, I've actually got uh, uh, Air OTK. Which is what this deck is about. This deck doesn't mind taking so much damage so long as it loses, so long as it still wins. Um, oh, that's not where I meant to put you, but okay. Yeah, 6400 attack Air Uh No. Yep, yeah. So that's what this deck's about, doing that. <laughs> uh... Oh, I didn't get any cards. Maybe you don't get more cards once you've got that whole deck. Who knows? Uh, yeah, I don't know how to improve the Enios deck exactly. Um, I don't really know a lot about making OTK decks. Like, Gladiator Beast definitely more my speed. Um, Shall we get on to the other, other, other thing? Actually, let's go into the, the regular Yu Gi Oh campaign, which I've not done like at all. We're going into the regular Yu Gi Oh campaign. Uh, I'm actually going to be uh, gone for five minutes when I go to the bathroom. Uh, but then we might, might see one of the other problems with this game, of which so far I have mentioned many. Uh, yeah, I'll be back in about five.
Hello everybody, I am back. So is the sawing noise outside, so apologies if you can hear that on my mic. I have shut all the windows up. Um, let's just, let's, let's go through um, the, the sawing noise, etc. to see if the problem becomes immediately apparent as we play. The story of Yu-Gi-Oh! begins at Domino High School, where Duel Monsters, the hottest card game in the world, was all the rage, on account of being the hottest card game in the world. Yu-Gi-Oh! was the best duelist around. Oh yeah, his friend Joey wanted desperately to learn how to duel. Oh, this is going to be a bit of a tutorial as well, because this is the first one of the, um, first one of the series. So the first one of the GX series is How to Fusion Monster. Uh, and then this one will be how to deal monsters, and then 5Ds will be how to synchro, how to pendulum, how to link, etc. Isn't he cute when he's thinking? Yugi is teaching me how to play deal monsters. Yeah, this is the this is how they've written down a, a Brooklyn accent or whatever the hell it is Joey has. <laughs> Drooling monsters, deal monsters, yeah, Nimrod. Um, there's a whole thing to be said about the use of Nimrod as an insult, uh, which I find quite amusing, but I don't really understand it myself exactly, so I don't feel qualified to pass it on. They've been at it for hours. Yugi's like an expert. Well, the stirring intro! INFN8 short can spin a tail. I am NNF, INF, M8, part of the Virtual Game Simulator. Okay, we will be taking on the role of the legendary Yugi Moto facing off against the not quite as legendary Yugi <laughs> Joey Wheeler. <laughs> Astonishing. Uh, what have we got? Oh, we've got Gravity Crash Dragon. I'm confident Yugi never had a Gravity Crash Dragon, but okay. What? Oh, okay, we're setting. Yeah, Molly. Gotcha. Let's open the phase menu and select end phase. Boop. Alright, we've got a blazing Apache. Bop. It's a very hands off tutorial. It's not really explaining very much about what's going on, is it? Congratulations, you survived your first attack. Joey attacked you, I'm not hurting himself. Let me explain what happened. You could have done this as this was happening. When the monster attacks the defense position, monster, the attacker's attack value is compared to the defense value. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Next, we'll play a spell and trap card. They're played in the spell and trap zone. Green spell cards can be played right away. Most can be played on your main phase. You can also set it and activate it later. Boop, activate Banner of Courage. Pink trap cards. <laughs> I find it so weird that they need to specify the colour, but okay. You can activate it on your turn and during your opponent's turn, but you must set them face down on the field first. You can't activate it at the same time it's set. <coughs> oh my gosh. What the? What in the hell? It's up with my little dizzy. Okay, um, I see what the problem with little dizzy is. Is little dizzy has decided that it's got a a screen animation that that just uses. Uh, I don't know why that does that. <laughs> okay, uh, right. So theoretically, little dizzy should now no longer be upset. Um, I don't know why why, why it was doing that. Let's set your trap card. Call of the haunted. I'm guessing. That, that we're going to need it. Uh, no, let's 
let's okay yeah it's fine we're going to summon in Ken Dog. um i'm like no we don't want to attack that Patchy with this boy even for tutorial purposes let's switch the battle phase <clears throat> Bip. And attack directly. Oh god. I skipped that bit of the tutorial, but I didn't need it. It was telling me how attacking directly works. Well, I'm guessing he's gonna play like Dark Hole? No, he's not. Okay. <clears throat> I assumed it would be so that you could teach us about activating our Call of the Haunted. Joey doesn't stand a chance. Let's clean his clock. Let's tell some another monster. Tribute one monster. Let's tribute some gravity crush dragon. <clears throat> no, let's not choose them. Kendo as my tribute. Why would I do that? No. What? That? Why would I do that? <laughs> okay, fine, whatever. Uh, you can see that your Grave Crash Dragon has an effect. Let's do that now. Oop. Alright, okay, so this is teaching us how Call of the Haunted works. Now let's chain rush recklessly. Oh, okay. This is brave for a tutorial. I absolutely would not be getting any of this <coughs> if I was new to the game, but okay. <clears throat> now we are ready to attack. Also, it made us chain without telling us what a chain was. Uh, oh, oh look. One more attack but totally wiped him out. This exact game, who would have thought it from a tutorial? <clears throat> What? A card that powerful totally wipes me out. Which one? <coughs> Gravy Crush? Yeah, because I've got Gravy Crush for some reason. My grandpa owns a game shop. I get all my best cards from him. Your own game shop? What are we waiting for? Let's go. Maybe I can even get my grandpa to show us a super rare card. Little did they know that someone was listening in on their conversation. Bing. There we go, okay, so, uh, yeah, when you win a campaign mode deal, you get the next deal unlocked, you get this guy is uh, someone you can beat, yeah, I got this recipe, although I don't necessarily have all the cards for it, this is just the recipe, and um, we get some cards from his deck, including Brain Crusher, okay, sure, the heart of the cards, that afternoon, you and his friends went to Grandpa's Game Shop. Can you show us your super awesome workout? It's a blue eyes. So rare, so powerful, I never let it leave my hands. Imagine back when blue eyes was rare. Imagine back when blue eyes was powerful. Uh, there are only four of them in all the world. Suddenly, a classmate from school ran into the shop. His name was Seto Kaiba, who just happened to be a super rich CEO, and yet still goes to the same public school as Yugi. Um... Also seen here, not definitely not of, of class age at all. He's definitely an adult in this this um, dress, this avatar. But they couldn't be bothered to draw more than one, I guess. The team was disturbed by Kaiba's obsession with blue eyes. Next day, Grandpa was gone. Kaiba was on the other end. He kidnapped his grandpa and told Yugi where he took him. So Yugi called the police. <clears throat> I want to teach that boy Kaiba less about the heart of the cards, but I lost. Yeah, yeah, the heart of the cards only works if you're a main character. Like, they can preach about the heart of the cards and believing in it all I want, but it doesn't work if you're not a main character. <clears throat> Kaiba, you sleaze, what have you done to him? I can't do an accent. We had a duel, and, and suddenly, from this duel, Grandpa is, like, broken and defeated on the floor. An anti-duel, which would later become illegal. 
for good reason, because it's a heckin' stupid idea to gamble on card games. Especially gambling on card games with the things that make you good at card games. Kaiba, you should be ashamed of yourself. Too right. Yeah, and then he broke the blue eyes. Because logic. Right. Uh, Grandpa has, has uh, given you his deck. Oh, so maybe that's why he had Gravy Crush Dragon. Kaiba was taken back by Yugi's suddenly transformation. It seemed like he had become a different person, as if he was more confident and powerful than before. Yeah, so we're now a Yami Yugi. Oh, can I use my user deck already? I thought I had to beat him with the story deck first. Oh well, we're gonna fight him with the story deck anyway. Because I'm fairly confident this would be an absolute walkover with the Gladiator Beasts. And it probably wouldn't be too challenging, even with the Amios. But then again, I suppose to some extent this is supposed to be like the first quote unquote proper duel of the whole game. Uh, right, what have we got? We've got Mammoth Graveyard. Stunning. We've got Beaver Warrior. Also stunning. And we've got Exodia. <clears throat> well, this is going to be something. That's fine, because he's got the Hitotsumi Giant, of all things. Right, we've got Dark Magician, but we've also got Southern Skull, who, which, as most people point out quite a lot in, in memes, etc., is kind of about as good, but for one tribute <laughs> instead of two. Imagine if Summon Skull had become Yugi's main card instead of Dark Magician. Right, what have we got? Shadow Spell. Okay, well that's lightly annoying. Ancient Rules. Okay, look. Blah, blah. I think this is actually my first time seeing Blue Eyes' animation, because I've not used him. Um, okay, so this is going to be a bit of a painful turn, but it's mostly okay, because I've got Regeki in hand. Um, ow, 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 ow. Big owl. Oh, we've got the Mystical Elf. He's got the gift of the Mystical Elf. Mystical Elf, why are you giving Kaiba gifts? Shouldn't you be giving me gifts? Um, and against all logic, we're going to actually summon Mammoth Graveyard. Right, Kaiba's now back down to the life points he started with, whereas we're doing nearly half that. Um, it's not super inspiring. Ah, but I play the spell card Pot of Greed, which lets me draw two new cards, including another Leg of the Forbidden One, which is nice. Let's get Impy Boy out so he can do a bit of damage this turn and hopefully go into Dark Magician next turn. Oh, not another Shadow Spell. Well, it's fine. We've still got the Mammoth Graveyard. Oh, yeah. Um, the chances of getting Dark Magician out are plummeting. Oh, that's fine. Oh, yeah. Two key monsters in one deal. Excellent. Yeah, they spent all of their budget animating those like five cutscenes for like the various different boss monsters, uh, and so they couldn't be bothered to spend it on any new music for the entire game. There was literally not a single original piece of music in this. They're all from earlier Yu-Gi-Oh games, uh, or on on any kind of good game design. <laughs> what have we got, Torik? 
Although a poor defender, this monster's sharp horn gives it an edge when attacking. Does it? Does it really? I can't see any reason not to go with Soldier Stone. Oh yeah, we've taken the lead. Right, we're actually now up to three Exodia pieces. Unbelievably. What's even more unbelievable is we're summoning Torik. Uh, ooh, Ancient Lamp. What the blue blazing hell just happened? Blue damage card gave this card's being attacked by Prince Monster and was face down at the start of damage step. Target one monster you control, a opponent controls except the attacking monster. Attacking monster attacks it instead. Ooh, okay. Right. Well, that's moderately annoying, actually. <clears throat> that's brought you a turn. What have we got? We've got the Rude Kaiser. Which I feel like is in starter deck Kaiba, not starter deck Yugi. Uh, I mean, it's pants. It's a level 5 normal with 1800 attack, but it is better than Torik. Uh, so we are actually going to summon it. Unbelievably. Oh, another bloody gift of the Mystical Elf. You need to be more discerning with who you give gifts to, Mystical Elf. Right. They are only two pieces of Exodia away from the Exodia win, but that's out of 25 now cards in deck, so I'm not, not expecting it any time soon, certainly. Wall of Illusion. I don't like that. I mean, we still won. Oh, I could have got the exact game bonus if I attacked with Celtic Guardian. Okay, so that was a lot easier than the real life version of that deal. The results of the deal spread quickly, and a mysterious one eyed man got news of his victory. No one actually knows he's one eyed. Just because you never see his other eye does not mean that you know he's one eyed. Um. Dun, dun. Bing, 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 bong, bing. Oh my god, we unlocked a lot of things there, blimey. Uh, ah, yes, we unlocked a new, new booster pack as well. I'm sure that'll be useful. It won't. Uh, after when against Seto, you use puzzles to receive a pack kit from Pegasus. Inside there was a videotape. Wait, why are we not going to have this duel? Right, Shadow Realm, Magic, blah 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 blah, Shadow Games, Monsters are Real, um, Yugi's Ignorant of the Power of the Puzzle, 5,000 years ago, a powerful fairy looked the magic of the Shadow Games away in Mystical Millennium Items. As of the duel, it seemed that Pegasus knew every movie he was going to make before he did, because he was cheating. Despite this disadvantage, Yugi lost all his skills and nearly won, but Yugi ran out of time when the time limit passed. I have taken the measure of your talents this day, Yugi Mota, and when next we duel, we shall play for high stakes. Yeah, so they played, they did a duel over like Zoom, basically, but with a VCR, which is interesting. Um, I also possess one of the seven Millennium items, the all powerful, the all powerful? Millennium Eye. That's right, Yugi boy. I'll show you the true extent of its magic. I found that given the proper incentive, anyone can be made to play my game. And it stole Grandpa's soul. We'll duel again, how so you ever reclaim your grandfather's soul? You had no choice but to compete in the Duelist Kingdom tournament so you can get your grandfather's soul back. At Duelist Kingdom, each Duelist is given two star chips, which they could wager. Whoever earned ten star chips gained entry into the tournament finals. For his first duel, Yugi faced off against the conniving Weevil Underwood, a duelist with whom he had a bit of history. 
While riding his boat to see his kingdom, Weevil took these precious Exodia cards and threw them into the ocean. Welcome, said the spider to the fly. You flew right into my trap. <laughs> Here's Weevil Underwood, and then here he is, actual size. Um, luckily, as far as I'm aware, this this game does not have any of the really stupid Duelist Kingdom mechanics in it. Because basically, when they made the Yu-Gi-Oh! anime, they were like, okay, we love this card game Yu-Gi-Oh! that you've made, but we hate all of the rules, so we're going to change them for the first story arc. Um, that was that was how Season 1 of Yu-Gi-Oh! came to be. Oh, we've got a Horn of the Unicorn. That's not bad. Um, sure, let's get up a 2100 attack Winged Guardian. Uh, and Mirror Force, which is still a powerful card today, despite being one of the actual time appropriate early game cards. Terraforming to Forest, okay, that makes sense. Oh, we've got another Mirror Force. Okay, sure. Uh, we'll drop down the Feral Imp. Ah, oh, not Waboku. And this is a... Yeah, no, it's Manny to Bug. That's annoying. Um, well, we get Horn back next turn, which is... In, in modern Yu-Gi-Oh, that's kind of a bad thing. In this, with this deck, it's probably a fairly good thing, to be honest. Uh, forest, fantastic. Gokibor. Okay, a large spherical roach. It's a shame you didn't turn man to to attack mode. Right, okay. Horn on Feral. Unfortunately, you now can't walk over a uh, cocoon of evolution if we find one. Oh, why did I do that? I could have done 600 more damage than I did. Egypt dizzy. We do have Guy of the Fierce Light. Who isn't good, but can kill a cocoon. But if this isn't a cocoon, it's a cocoon. Uh, yeah, okay, that's some Gaia. We'll get Horn back next turn, and then we'll have 3000 attack. This may or may not work out. Oh dear, I worry that that's going to be another man eater. Alright, horn, go. Why is this not a union monster? It's the most obvious damn Union monster I've ever seen, and it's not one. Dark Magician, great, amazing. I'm actually going to pop this because I don't want to hit a man to bug while you still got that on the field, because very little else I have can actually get past it. Um, Mystical Elf.
Horn Imp. Marvelous. Amazing. What cards we have? Uh, let's grab that one. Oh, there's another cocoon. That's good. Oh, excellent. Down our dark magician. I'm confident he doesn't have anything that can tank dark magician. Did Lou? You will come to get tired of that. Uh, Okay, well, not terribly challenging so far. Again, we are at the start of the game, though. Although, uh, it's really nice that if you don't want to do um, the, the, the Yu-Gi-Oh! series first, you can just skip to the start of GX, if like GX is more your style or 5Ds is more your style. That's kind of nice. I like that. My moth is unbeatable. You didn't summon your moth, mate. There we go. Okay, now we're going to fight as Joey. This is going to be interesting, but it'll be a little bit of a break. Because, um, yeah, so, the, so this is the thing that I was sort of saying. Oh, it's a little bit of a problem is with the story mode, you tend to play the same deck quite a lot, or like small variations on the same deck. It's particularly bad in GX, where every duel you play with an E-Hero deck, but you only have about four different fusion monsters in that deck, which are the ones that he used in the equivalent duel, and the other E-Hero fusions you generally just don't have. Um, so like... Okay, well, we're, we're playing with basically the same deck, but I can't necessarily always do the actual good combos from that deck every time, because I have to only do the combos that he did, which I find slightly annoying. I'd better be the champion for Serenity's sake. Dip. The team at my Valentine. She is manipulative, self-absorbed duelist who had the uncanny ability to always know what color she would draw next because she cheated. There was so much cheating. Woodland Sprite. That's kind of a cool looking card. I like the weird leaf mask. Jerry Beans, man. Okay, sure. Battlestorm. That's definitely not a card that my had. Blimey, what's this thing? 100 attack for each winged beast type monster you control. Once per turn, you can pop a spell trap card. If you control three or more winged beast monsters. Well, hmm. Okay, let's grab a terraforming. What have we got? Gaia Power. It's better to have it out of our deck at least. Guy powers for Earth Monsters, which we've got. Fusion Conscription. This is definitely also not an era appropriate card. Reveal a fusion monster in your extra deck, add one of the fusion materials whose name is specifically listed on that card from your deck or graveyard to your hand. And if you do, if the rest of this task, the card results, you can't normal summon, set or special ones with the added monster's name. Also, your monsters with that name can affect their effects. Okay. So, do this early. What have we got? Oh, I wasn't allowed to actually check my extra deck? <laughs> well, that's annoying. Uh, so, Time Wizard and Baby Dragon. No. Somebody makes Flame Swordsman. I don't know who. Of the cards we've got access to here. None of them blow me away as options. 
I guess we're gonna grab Masaki. No, Masaki, please. Thank you. Right, so what time was it one? A thousand dragon, that's right. Um And let's graceful. Bop, 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 bop. This might still be a banned card, possibly. Uh, oh, we're definitely keeping you. Let's dump one Gaia Power, and... You've actually got kind of alright cards, you know, Joey. We'll dump Rude Kaiser. Oh yeah, the other thing is, like, once I've got to this stage, I can't go back, even though I haven't done anything, which I find very annoying. Like, it, it, it commits you sooner than you want to commit. Uh, well, that's annoying. Maybe I should have Dark Cold. It's fine. Harpy Channeler. I wish I'd have whatever this is. Harpy Dancer? Okay, so there are modern Harpy support cards. That's kind of nice. I have no idea what just happened because I wasn't allowed to check Harpy Dancer's effect. Um, so I have no idea what they've just done. Time Wizard. Oh yeah. It's totally useless. Uh, discard a Harpy card, special summon a Harpy monster from your deck in face up defense. Accept Harpy Channeler. They use it once per turn. When you draw a Dragon Tech monster, it becomes level 7. Comes half lady on the field or in the graveyard. Okay. Eagle Eye, that's fine. I think I'm just gonna throw out Jerry Bean Man. The problem is partly that I don't know what that um I don't know what that harpy thing did, because I wasn't allowed to look at it. <clears throat> Oh, I know, she's got some kind of weird harpy in her in her hand. I don't know what it is or what it does. Fusion Sage. And a polymerization from a deck to my hand. Okay. Well, we might be actually getting towards Thousand Dragon. Which would be bad. Flying Swordsman can take it or leave it. Time, time is the Thousand Dragon. This can kill that. This can kill whatever the hell this thing is. Harpy Dancer. Okay. What does it do? You can target a wind monster you control, return it to the hand, and normal summon one wind monster. This card's name becomes Harpy Lady on the field of the graveyard. Okay. Well, we are technically losing. We are two thirds of our way into. Our deck's probably best combo, I'm guessing. In the meantime, we've got Kojikoki. Sure. Um, I think this puts us back in the lead. Yes, okay. Our lead gear is a lot of splashing around normal monsters. Um, and a lot of it is decided by who has the better normal monsters. Oh, we can fusion description. Grab a baby dragon. Yeah, this deck for Joey actually isn't terrible, like, for the time. It's got a lot of deck thinning. It's got an okay boss monster, 2400 attack for the period, even if it's not amazing. And it's a special summon monster. Ah uh, yeah, we'll put that up there, we don't have any link monsters coming in. Now we might have game here, there's Harpy Girl. Hiss. Hiss at the Harpy Girl. Is this exact game? No, it's, it's nearly exact game. 
Well, there we go. Okay. We struggled with that a lot less than the real Joe did. Deep. Uh, attack from the deep. Really? They they found the time to do the Mako Tsunami duel? Really? They thought that was a, 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 an important duel to get... Okay. Okay. Actually, it does seem like they've got quite a few duels in here. But considering some of the duels I skipped over in GX, they put the Mako Tsunami duel in this. The truth and power of the puzzle was being installed on Yugi. During his duels, the puzzle infused Yugi with the power of an ancient spirit. Someone needs food. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, I just love barbecued fish. Oh yeah, you're trapped on an island with no way of getting food. Um, astonishing. Wow, so they did just like, steal some fish. Enjoy yourselves, fish thieves, for this is your last meal. Aren't you the top-ranked ocean duelist? Are you sure he's the top-ranked ocean duelist? Um, this, incidentally, in the anime, this duel is particularly notable for including the legendary phrase Giant Soldier of Stone, destroy the moon! In which Giant Soldier of Stone, a normal monster, destroys Mako Tsunami's something-something moon spell card Right, normal monster destroying a spell card, great start already. Which causes all of the oceans on the field to dry up. Right? Which then causes all of Mako's water monsters to be like helpless, basically. It's an absolute dumpster fire on the Yu Gi Oh rules. Um, he laid out fish as bait. Wait, so we were supposed to steal the fish? So how are you upset about stealing the fish then? Um... Ive, I'm guessing I won't be destroying any moons with Giant Soldier of Stone today though. You never know. Ah, and we've got Karibo, who is technically the first hand trap. But like, we sort of brush over that because he's not a particularly bad, he's not a toxic hand trap. We can uh, set Giant Soldier. Next time we might end up setting Karibo and plopping down swords. Oh, here's Umi, like actual Umi Umi. The card that a legendary ocean pretends to be. Um, because lots of water monsters weirdly key off having this one card. Oh my god! It's Attack the Moon! Oh my gosh! They actually made a card of it! <laughs> what?! <laughs> oh my god! Well, I mean we're definitely doing that. We are definitely doing that. Boom! Attack position. Yes! Attack the sea, in this case. Um, we're also gonna drop swords. We're gonna set Karibo, of all things. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe I actually attacked the moon! <laughs> oh, what's this? Fortress Whale's Oath. That's not good. Uh... Oh, it's a ritual spell, okay. I've got Horn Imp. It's really tempting to try and leave Giant Soldier out. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna try and leave Giant Soldier out and hope he doesn't pop my swords this turn. And this is me being greedy. But I think it's paid off. Oh, we've got Golem Sentry, huh? Wow. <laughs> well, he definitely didn't have this in the, in the game, but okay. Yes. 
Alright, we don't need Horn Imp, we don't need Karibo. As much as we love Karibo. Because look at that adorable cute little puffball. One sec. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. We know, we know. Dark Magician, Dark Magic Attack, whatever. I want to see Karibo. He's adorable. Look at those huge eyes. They kind of look a little bit like Pac Man. Um, the eyes. Uh, but look at them. Uh, we still got a ton of this left. I can't believe Attack the Moon is a real spell card. That's, that's the funniest thing I've seen in so long. Oh. That was very rude. That was unbelievably rude. Um. Well, I guess we're gonna run over this face down. It's a jellyfish. It's literally just called jellyfish. It doesn't even have like a, a Yu-Gi-Oh monster name. It's just called jellyfish. Maybe I should have summoned Silver Fang and attacked his snake. But maybe not. Oh, we've got Celtic Guardian. Hell yeah. Uh, okay, let's change you to attack possession. Just on the off chance. Um, no, let's try and run this thing down first. Ouch! Oh yeah, Beaver Warrior. Go, little Beaver Warrior! Flip summon my Golem Sentry. Now, attack him for breakfast. Right. Bring all of the pain. There's my normal monsters and Golem Sentry. Mad Lobster? Okay, well, Baba D is a, a warrior, I guess. It was a, a bit of a thing, putting you. Oh my god, I've got Mystical Moon! Was Mystical Moon one of my cards? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Well, we have to. It would be, like, illegal for us not to. Even though it makes no sense in the context of the actual game we're playing. Damn it if I'm not going to activate this card. Ha, the moon works for me now. There we go, okay. Well, the grand duel, I salute you. Blah 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 blah. <gasps> we unlocked the Bakura booster pack. I like Bakura. He's my, probably one of my favorite characters from. Maybe he's my. Mm, no, Kaiba's is pretty cool. Anyway, my Valentine sat on a hill having a quiet moment to herself. It's because of Joey. Rex Raptor, whom I dueled and defeated on the way to Duel's Kingdom, jumped out and surprised her. Did she 
just call him Joseph? <laughs> you used your family in battle, so you? I can lose a few. He wasn't that told your hand. You wouldn't beat me. Joe Rex placed second in the regionals. And Joey only learnt duel monsters about five duels ago. Um... Oh, ah, righteous justice. I'm very bad at rock paper scissors. <laughs> right now, being dinosaurs, I'm guessing he's going to have a bit more of a beatdown deck. Which, I mean, to be fair, is what I have, but might be a problem if he can outbeat down me. Ooh, that's not good news. Oh, that's real bad news. That's... That's the worst news. Okay. Uh, what have we got? We've got Swamp Battle Guard. We've got Battle Steer. Okie dokie. Oh, we've got Sakuretsu, apparently. Uh, right, let's ditch Battle Steer and... Uh Let's dump Hax Razor because he can't help us right now. Let's pull of greed. Okay, well we've nearly got our uh, I thought I'll keep um love battle guard just in case. <clears throat> we might end up actually comboing this. But we've got Saki, which is gonna help us kill that thing. What is it? Serpent Light Dragon. That's not even a dinosaur. You're called Rex Raptor. Why are you not using dinosaur monsters? <laughs> Crawling Dragon number two. Okay. All right, well, we'll Saki his Serpent Light thing, and then his other one can't hurt us. Sojourn. Warrior and Beast Warrior. I kind of want Swamp Battle Guard out. Even though it's not much of an upgrade. I'm worried if I put out Masaki, he'll kill it. Okay, we're gonna put that, this guy out. It deals us more damage this turn, and we might be okay if it survives. And we haven't lost really anything if it doesn't, like we'll still be in the same place we were. Nice. Garuzis. Why are you running so many Terrible level 5s, Joey! Right, unbelievably we're actually gonna go for this Swamp Battle Guard Lava Battle Guard combo. Kylosaurus! I can understand why he didn't special summon it, but like... Wow, okay, that's an advanced card for this era of Duel Monsters, oh boy! <laughs> Soul Exchange. What does that do nowadays? You cannot conduct your battle phase to turn it into this. Oh, you must! Okay, so Soul Exchange has had a little bit of an errata. We are actually going to go for the Soul Exchange combo. So for the for the so not for the so for the lava swamp battle guard combo, unbelievably, it, it, they still wouldn't even be that great if it weren't for Sogan. Yes, definitely. Battle steer, battle steer, I guess. <laughs> Attack of the wild level five. 
I can't believe we've got game. I I <laughs> this is unbelievable. We actually got exact game. And the th words I never thought I'd say, Swamp Battle Guard attacks you for game. There we are. Brand new sentence in the whole of Yu-Gi-Oh. Ah, uh, goodness gracious me. Oh, so this is where Joey gets red eyes from. It's still not a dark dra- Signature cards. Boom. He was running Miracle Jurassic Egg! Oh my gosh. Um, Evil Spirit of the Ring. Oh, now we get to fight Bad Bakura. It's, this is good guy Bakura. They were visited by their high school friend Bakura because apparently half the people on this island are friends from Yugi's high school and the other half are people who Yugi knows of. Yeah, I, oh yeah, also, two people at UE's high school had Millennium items. <laughs> yes, and the magic of my Millennium Ring will take us to the Shadow Realm! Wahahaha! Why are you doing this, Bakura? You have something I want, and I aim to take it. No, not my hair! It's not your hair. Uh, Bakura, possessed by some unknown spirit, used the power of his Millennium Ring to lock away his friend's souls. Their souls have been locked away. Let's well, Puzzle is mine. Just Bakura tried to grab the puzzle that started to grow. Manifesting Yami Yigi. You want my Millennium Puzzle? Then you're going to have to duel me for it. I actually don't remember this one from the anime. I can't remember how it went down. Uh, bink. I, I'm guessing how it's going to go down this time is... I summon a bunch of normal monsters. I summon Dark Mag Ooh! Two monster reborns and a graceful charity. There's a setup. Unfortunately, I didn't get anything good. Destroy all face up rock type monsters on the field. Uh, I'm going to say that I have him here. I have flame swordsman in my extra deck. Am I running a Yugi hybrid, a Yugi Joey hybrid deck right now? I'm going to set this, and I'm going to drop swords. That's a lot of backfield. Coffin cellar. Oh, that's a lot of coffin cellars, blimey. Right. Let's get up a Misaki. I guess we'll flip this Misaki. Oh my gosh, we actually killed it, but we do get. Wait, you killed the wrong one! Why would you not kill the one that hadn't attacked yet? Oh, silly AI. Okay. Hmm, double coffin cellars might be a lot of burn quite quickly. I'm glad I got that graceful done sooner rather than later. Okay, we've got Dark Magician. We could Dark Magician right now. It's probably a good idea. It doesn't really matter. This is gonna hurt. Do the animation, do 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 do. do. Ow.
Rock Ogre Grotto number one. What a card. Do I want to even bother selling it? I guess. Just in case we draw into like Seven Skull or something. <laughs> oh. Every every monster I set is a bit of a risk, is the problem. Oh, we've got a Yi in the chat. Sorry, you're late. You've been playing GTA. Oh, that's cool. Um, I hope you enjoyed your GTA. We are doing some Legacy of the Duelist uh, because uh, World Championship 2010 was broken, <laughs> basically. Uh, so if I go into the battle phase, you can't attack, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, okay. That's fine. Uh, and uh, you've missed, you're lucky, you've missed the first three quarters of an hour of me playing this game when I was mostly ranting about why it's not that great of a Yu Gi Oh game. Um, we've got another Masaka. Masaki. Unfortunately, we don't have anything good. Gross Ghost of Fled Dreams. Stone Ghost. Okay, well, neither does he at least. <laughs> I mean, also, although I have been ranting about why it's not that great of a Yu Gi Oh game, I am still playing it. I enjoy playing Yu Gi Oh! Do you have anything worth having in your graveyard? No. No, you don't. At all. I guess we're gonna real slowly chip at you. Ooh, a new face down. God, well, I wouldn't give her harpies right now. Ouch. Skullstalker. Well, okay, what is this card text? Foist, he's gonna grab your monster with his claws, then attack again with his poison stinger. What's this? It's written like that. <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Do I have gain this turn? Uh, 2500. 3600, 4400, 4700. Unbelievable. <laughs> I can attack him directly with all five monsters and still not have game. I. Oh, I What's even worse is, I probably am going to set this. Just in case. Oh, we've got Polly. We can't use it, but we've got it. Um, I actually only need one more thing to get um, Flame Swordsman out, for all the good that Flame Swordsman will do me. Okay, I could now, if I run over this with Dark Magician, I can now attack for game. Because that's 1900, 2800. White Magical Hat. Okay, well, it didn't help. Early Yu Gi Oh, man. It doesn't even feel worth the celebratory music. <laughs> With the destruction of the Evil Spirit's last card, the Kura was freed from the grip of the Evil Spirit. My father picked up on one of his trips. He told me it's from ancient Egypt. He was shopping in a merchant bazaar when the ring caught his eye. Bing. There we go. Okay. Marvellous. 
panic attack. I don't remember... I remember panic. I don't remember anything about him. When Tetris and Jerry awoke, they thought his duel against Pekura was just a dream. I just dreamt that Pekura went totally mental. I see. Some of the team had a scream. That sounded like mine. Team Manzo the Forest into claiming so very large duel is defeating Mai. Uh, interestingly, I, I'm pretty sure in the anime, Bakura throws his Millennium Ring away at this point. Uh, although obviously they couldn't be bothered to draw a version of Bakura's uh, avatar without the ring. Because that might be something like production value. You're, I feel like you don't need gauntlets that big. You only need 10 star chips. Pegasus pays him to root out the quote, dueling filth. Planks on the islands, eliminators. Panic pushed Mai to the ground. Well, that's unnecessary. I also realize his jacket says PK. Yeah, so I'm not. The, the Duel Escape tournament was always a bit weird. It was like, this is a tournament, but we've also paid duelists to come and be here, like, that aren't part of the tournament? Because that's what the Paradox Brothers were. Panic apparently is also like that. Oh, the Paradox Brothers. I can't remember if there isn't a Paradox Brothers duel in this game, or if there is, and it's very disappointing because they couldn't be bothered to make it a tank duel. Uh, it's one of the two options. Oh my god, I've got Mother Grizzly. Mother Grizzly is probably here to search out Catapult Turtle, who I can't use because it's in my hand. And I bet I'm not running multiple copies. Oh no. That was a mistake. I admit to set that. It's probably fine. 1400 actually is, is a mediocre attack instead of a bad attack in this format. Uh, Allure of Darkness. That is a very modern card. Okay, fine. Bone Crusher. Uh, no, we're gonna let you do that. Ow. What? Oh, what do you do? The special summon from Gregor will affect the zombie type monster. Target one spell trap your opponent with switch controls. Destroy it. Yes. Okay, we've got. We can get a new catapult title if we want. He has dropped in Jebasted. I don't know what that means. I've heard people use it, but I don't know what it means. So is the strat here to just pop Catapult Turtle in defense and just power through all my really bad monsters? Is that is that the plan? It's not a good plan, but is that the plan? I guess that's the plan. We're going to be here a long time if I'm burning out 1200 attack point monsters each time. Dark Assailant, wow. That's a card. <laughs> Curse of Dragon. Ah, oh, so you've actually got moderately good attack. I could even get you down if I wanted to. So I've got swords. Maybe should have set you. I'm a little concerned about what all your face sounds do, though. Griffor. Oh, he's got Saki, that's okay. Oh, that's not okay. Rip. 
<laughs> um, it's fine, I've got Griffor. <laughs> That'll help. You're running Zombie Master? <laughs> I'm sorry, what? You're running Zombie Master? Uh, okay, let's set this little Karibo right here. Um, not actual little Karibo, but you know what I mean. Oh my god. Okay, well this is... This is gonna be a deal. <laughs> oh, I've got Monster Reborn. Unfortunately, Catwalk Turtle was heckin' banished. I tell you what though, I'd really love to Monster Reborn that Zombie Master. That would be great. I wonder how plausible a strategy that is. Hmm. What do we reckon? Because I could just get Curse of Dragon instead. I dearly love that zombie monster, zombie monster on my side of the field. We're gonna leave it for now. Gaia. Hmm. Okay, we're gonna. We're gonna get back curse. We're gonna really, really, really pray that we don't run into another Dark Mirror Force. Right, if I draw into another Monster Reborn, because I might well be running multiple copies, then we'll have a Zombie Master and it'll be amazing. <laughs> What? What? You're running Dark Fusion. Okay, also what the hell is that card's attack? Thirteen eighty attack, fifteen thirty defense. I've literally never seen that before. I've never seen something that wasn't a multiple of fifty. That's ridiculous! I also realise I've, I've got Mirror Force. I could have been luring him into Mirror Forces this whole time. Um, maybe I should be doing that. Nah, it's fine. I'll just slowly whittle him down with Curse. Right, what do I like the least? I actually can't kill you with Curse. Um... Let me kill that castle walls. Oh, okay, you can save that for a turn. Uh, yeah, I want to pop you. Even though it's a little bit of a waste of a mirror force, but you're the only one I can't run over with curse. <laughs> well, the cat spot turtle store strat didn't really work. Um, it's amazing how the AI suddenly knew I had a 1500 defense point monster, isn't it? <laughs> Wait, does this affect all the- Why do you have 2200 defense? Oh, you've got a boost from Yami! Okay. 
Um, fiend and spellcaster type monsters. Uh, well, I don't really have anything else like that will last long enough for me to get Gaia down. Oh, are you kidding me? You also have Mirror Force? Well, that sucks. Um... Oh, it's also impressive how the AI managed to avoid hitting my face on Catspot Turtle. <laughs> Funny that. We've got Polly. I I've only just noticed we have. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know I had that. Um, I, I've just noticed I have an extra deck. Uh, well, we are stuck doing nothing for the foreseeable, aren't we? Uh, we've got Rude Kaiser, who can walk over his boys. Less good night that we all. Um Oh no, it's gonna ask me this every time, isn't it? Oh no. What have I done? Oh hell. What's he done? Oh, are you really gonna suicide? Do I wanna let you do that? I kind of rather have you suicided than than on the field using your effect, to be honest. <laughs> Okay, sweet. Oh my god, stop asking me. I never should have set this card. Oh, nah, nah, I did not, that was not the one I wanted. I'm, this is the problem, I'm busy spam clicking to get through the constant asking me, do you want a spellbinding, do you want a spellbinding, and then I hit the wrong button. Ugh. Oh my god. No, no, no. Maybe. We're gonna go with no. Please leave me alone! <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I set you. Um, we're gonna get out the Horn Imp. Right, well we, we, we missed with the first button press, but we did get it in the end. Ooh, Metal Guardian. Ow! Ow! Okay, I'm 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 a little bit impressed. I'm not a little bit impressed, but I'm a little bit impressed. Uh no. I don't know what to do about it. We might be back to blooming catapult turtle, to be honest. Mm. 
please, please, let me die. <laughs> uh, are we back to Catapult Turtle? I think we're back to Catapult Turtle. I should probably get down Curse of Dragon first though. Wait, summon, yes. Oh, I think we. I might win by deck out rather than any actual decent win condition. This is going to be a slow one. Now why would you set a monster when you know it's going to be exploded? There's a question. <gasps> Ooh, we have Horn of the Unicorn! No. I'm concerned about Mirror Force, so I'm not going to flip Catapult Turtle up just yet. No. Please stop asking. No! No matter how many times you ask, the answer is gonna be no. Ah, okay, there we go, that's what I thought. No! Right, okay. Big rip. Please leave me alone. Please leave me alone. <laughs> Okay, now we draw horn and end. <laughs> Please stop asking me. I hate this box. I hate this little text box. We are just gonna sit here and, and deck this guy out. That's it. Oh, I've got another polymerization. I've got another curse of dragon in the graveyard. God damn it! I keep doing this. Oh, we've got all three curse of dragons in grave and monster reborn in grave. That's not good news. Oh, cast the Dark Illusion, huh? Oh, that's bad news. So it'll give him plus 800 total attack points. That's real bad news, Bears. That's a totally useless draw. <laughs> Um, there's nothing I can do about this. Oh wait, that, does that not affect your... Oh, it's not even a zombie, never mind. Yay, another catapult turtle! I'm actually gonna uh, go over my hand limit, aren't I? I can't believe this. This is absurd. Oh my god, he's got even more defense! <laughs> <laughs> Um, why is that? I feel like this should be activating. I feel like that's not doing anything. No, no, oh my god, another polymerization. Are you kidding me? Stop giving me polymerization, I can't use it! <laughs> I'm in hell, I have to wait 12 turns of, of continually telling Spellbinding Circle not to activate. <laughs> I'm in hell. <laughs> Another level 5 plus monster! We are running, in this deck, triple catapult turtle, triple curse of dragon, and triple guy of the fierce knight, and rude kaiser, at least one. What's this? 
What's this? I can't use any of these even. I can't remember what the hand limit is, but I've started setting cards just in case. If I draw a reborn, I can actually use a poly. I don't know if I have another reborn. Might have been gotten rid of to make way for all of the high level monsters. Uh. No. Oh my gosh, it's Pot of Greed. Amazing. What are we gonna draw? Oh well, that might have been a bad idea actually. We've drawn Mother Grizzly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If I draw Reborn, why would I Reborn the thing? I could just Reborn the curse. That would make a lot more sense. Uh, it's fine. We still win on deck out at the moment. But I, I'm not- I can't use Mother Grizzly's effect. <laughs> Uh Why would you do that? We have summoned Skull? Well, we needed another level 5 monster? Are you sure? Are you sure about that? That we needed that? Well, I'm gonna take it though, aren't I? And I'm gonna Horn of the Unicorn it as well. Dark Illusion. Okay. Well, I mean, you're still strong enough to walk over almost anything. Who looked at this deck and was like, yeah, let's put Rude Kaiser and Summon Skull in it? I'm not sad that they drew Summon Skull, but. Boinsky, Boinsky. I'm so worried about one of these being like a Dark Mirror Force or something. Uh, oh my gosh, a, a, another Spellbinding. Are you kidding? Right, let's throw out Mother Grizzly of all things. Jesus, you have so much defense. Uh, you've got an odd number as well. Not literally odd number, but like a weird number. Oh, Mirror Force. Yes? No, it's Spellbinding. Never mind. <laughs> um, okay, well, we're back to the old drawing board, aren't we? Uh, against my better judgement, I'm going to set another Spellbinding. This is going to be the longest duel in Duel Monsters history. I've got 23 cards in Grave. <laughs> As if I'm playing a Light Swarm deck or something. Oh, I've got a snack steel. Now there's something to think about. If I can find another monster to put on the field, I can snatch his castle and tribute them both. I'm gonna wait till I do find said other monster though. If there's a, if there's anything left in my deck at this point, <laughs> I mean actually at this point I don't think I could beat him on life points anyway. I think we're too late. Right. Okay. We're gonna set Beaver Boy. 
And we might have to double Spellbinding next turn, depending on what he does. He's got another Castle of Dark Illusions, oh my god. Ah, uh, no. no. This is bad news. <laughs> this is the worst news! No. Um, it's before the end of the main phase. That's what we've got. No. Battle phase. Yes. What's this? Burning land. Is there any field spell cards on the field? Destroy them. I see, so this was supposed to be more of the stalliness. Um... <laughs> Okay, let's snatch this boy. Boink. Uh, there's no reason not to do dark. And we've got to run over the castle because it's the only thing we can kill. That's uh, because it's the only thing we can't kill if it, uh, Change this position or whatever. I could burning land, but like, why would I want to when it's buffing my dark magician? Although, that being said, it might help me kill him slightly quicker. Are we going to summon Tariq? I think we're going to summon Tariq. Horrendously. Right, I have no idea what he's got face down. I'm guessing one of them is another castle. Apparently Dark Assailant. Oh, I forgot he had the super defense buff. Yeah. We are we are just gonna leave Tariq there. I'm guessing he doesn't have anything to stop himself from decking out. But I also don't have anything to stop myself from decking out. Uh hello? Oh the game the game had a real panic there. Right, so that's going to be another horrible metal thing. Mizuki? Oh, this is good news. What have you got? Bone Crusher. No, you are allowed to destroy that. That's allowed. Spellbinding Circle. Oh yeah, that's swords. That'll catch his castle if he's got one. I thought this didn't activate flip effects. Oh okay, fair enough. Apparently it does. Oh Jesus Christ. <laughs> Reaper of the ridiculous the high defense. Um <laughs> Oh, 
Well, let's blow up this thing. Um, this is the most ridiculous game of Yu-Gi-Oh! Oh my goodness gracious. Feral Imp! What a card! Okay, it's fine, we've nearly won. This is gonna be the last duel of the uh of the of the day. Def most definitely. Um, I guess we can summon this. Oh, yeah, for Yukashin? That's something I could actually have run over. Oh, wait, no, it's not. Wait. Yeah, it is. I could actually have killed that with the Mother Grizzly. Um, okay, right. You draw, I draw. You lose. <laughs> this is the silliest game! <laughs> oh my god! Okay, I literally all I have to do is hit the end phase button and then you lose. <laughs> oh my gosh, well that was a slog. That was um certainly a duel. Wow. Wow 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 wow. Nobody beats panic, nobody. Except me. Your puzzle has more power than we thought. What power? <laughs> if you believe in the heart of the cards, you will eventually draw literally every single one of them. <laughs> um, these starships are yours. Take them. Hi there, ye. Oh my goodness gracious. I, I am so, somewhat impressed you're still here, honestly, after that slog. Um... Right, good guys are being good guys, even to Mai, who's kind of a sort of a moderately bad guy at this point. Um, do, 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 do. There is absolutely no reason in the anime, by the way, why Mai is like a sympathetic character, whereas someone like Rep Rex Raptor isn't. Like, she was just as bad as any of them. Oy vey, right, well there we go. I could, if I wanted, go and pour a bunch of money into card packs. I don't know what um, what the contents of the different packs actually are. Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy... I can't spell when I'm googling. Legacy of the Duelist. Card list. Okay, right. Grandpa Muto has Exodia cards. It has UFO turtle, but nothing else I think that looks and it also has Mother Grizzly. And a uh, kind of couple of the rescue cards. I don't think I could necessarily make a deck out of it. My Valentine pack. Which ones do I actually have unlocked? I should probably check that first. Card shark. My Bakura Joey. So my Valentine has Fossil Dinopaki Cephalo. A bunch of Amazon S monsters. Um some wind slash winged beast monsters. Some insect monsters, obviously harpy ladies. Uh, at least a few water monsters. Ebon Magician Curran as well for some reason. Ooh. 
Dini Dragon Daedalus, who's obviously one of the ones from the Water Structure deck that we played with in um, World Championship. Okay, so we could vaguely work ish towards a water deck if we grab some my packs. Um, doesn't have any particularly amazing instinct monsters apart from Harpy's Pet Phantasmal Dragon. 3 level 4 wind monsters, 2000 attack, even the stunning. Attack directly, your opponent cannot target Harpy monsters with effects or 4 attacks. Okay. Um, Bakura? What's Bakura got? Air Knight Pass Shaft, some Archery monsters. Um, Dark Ruler Hardez. A bunch of Goblin monsters. A lot of Goblin monsters, by me. I could probably put this in a screen for you to see. Um, that's something I have the, the power to do. There we go. This is what I'm seeing, looking at the deck list, uh, the pack lists. See if any of them are worth buying. A couple more thing jars. Uh, nothing that's blowing me away. Some trap tricks cards. I don't know very much about trap tricks cards. Apparently they look very bad on Yu-Gi-Oh Wiki. Um, Unaffected by the effects of whole normal trap cards. <laughs> okay. You can activate whole normal trap cards from your hand. The activation effects of normal trap cards on the rest of the field cannot be negated. What's a trap tricks dex like wing condition? Are there whole normal trap cards that I'm, I'm unfamiliar with? Chaos trap hole and generate trap are whole cards but not trap hole cards. <laughs> Um, including Stronghold the Moving Fortress. Okay, uh, right, I'm not sure what's up with Trap Tricks is. Uh, Spirit monsters, Tuna monsters, the agent of entropy, the agent of mystery. Uranus. So you key off Sanctuary in the Sky, you key off the agent monsters and Sanctuary of the Sky. Okay, so that's a Sanctuary of the Sky related archetype. We also have Chaos King Archfiend as the only worthwhile extra deck monster in there. Right, don't care. Joey, what has Joey got? Maybe something better? Fiber Jar? Um, Gate Guardian? Some of the Warrior Monsters, which I guess should be expected. Jinzo, lots of Jinzos. More Jinzos than I even knew existed. Blacky Myros? What's your shtick? I, I can't remember. Oh yeah, okay, you like, send an Iron Core of Quacky Myro to the something and reveal a monster of one type. Um... I mean, of the, of the ones, of, of the ones I've unlocked, this is definitely the best pack so far. Unless maybe Trap Tricks has something special that I'm not aware of. 
that it can pull out its sleeve. Uh, oh, red eyes, black metal, darkness, darkness metal, red eyes zombie. Pretty nice. Almost worth just almost worth buying the packs just for that one card to make a nice zombie deck. Um, unfortunately, not many of the other good zombies. Comrade Swordsman, nah. Other than that, we've got a whole bunch of richer monsters. No fusion or LX deck monsters that I care about, though. Well, okay, that's a bit boring. Um, oh, I'm not going to look through all of these. Let's. One sec. I need to bring that little baby busy back. Baby busy is back. Let's um, splash out on some uh, Joey cards and see what these Koaki Mairis are about. Do, 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 do. Meteor Dragon Red Eyes Impact. Genai Monster. Red Eyes Monster Control cannot be destroyed with Apple Card Effects. It's Pants, because it's a level 6 with not that great an effect. <laughs> Red Eyes Wyvern. Okay, so there's some alright Red Eyes support in, in here. What the hell is this thing? That looks horrifying. Kiss... Kiss a tie. Kiss a tie? I've got some in my, in my chest of jewels. Um, It's like a, a, it's mediocre. Um, we're gonna blast through some packs and then we're probably not gonna get anything that's enough to make a deck out of. Although we're getting lots of nice red eyes cards. Red eyes black flare dragon, we're dra Gemini red eyes. Oh, I never expected red eyes and Gemini's to go together. Damage calculation is performed involving this card at the end of the battle phase. You can flick damage burn equal to this card's original attack. Oh, okay. So you hit hard. Ritual Buster. Don't care. Dragonic attack. Don't care. More ritual support. Rocket Warrior? Oh yeah. Claw of Hermos. Always treated as the legendary dragon Hermos. So one must put your hand to field to the graveyard, or the type that is listed on a fusion monster that can only be special summed with the Claw of Hermos. Then special summon that fusion monster from your extra deck. Hang on, what? So the monster from your hand or field to the graveyard of the type of the type that is listed on a fusion monster that can only be special summoned with the Claw of Hermos. Then special summon that fusion monster from your extra deck. Okay, gotcha, right. Seven completed, I uh, don't care. Time Machine, don't care. Skull Guardian, don't care. It's a bad early ritual monster. It was this one that I said had Koaki Mairis in it, isn't it? I'm not, I've not gone completely mad. Yeah, okay, I just haven't seen any of them yet. I suppose when you've got 314 unique cards, that will happen. Um, okay. Oh, regular Jinzo. It's not so bad. Oh yeah, Flame Swordsman. Jin Disser. Disser... Disser... How do you spell that? Disserere. Disserere? I don't know how it's pronounced. When you have someone wants you to go to your graveyard as one wants to repair some rich for someone. Oh, okay, yes. Yeah, so you're still one of that lot. 
Um, it's not really an archetype, but the Jin something of rituals lot. Desperado Battle Dragon. The Dark Machine is destroyed by battle card effect. It's best on this card from your hand. That's pretty good. And then it's got Battle Dragon effect, basically. Well, better Battle Dragon effect. Okay, as Dark Machines go, that's not terrible. And it supports other coin tossing cards, which is a very weird group to support, but okay. We've got Red Eyes Baby Dragon, legally distinct from Red Eyes Bee Chick. Um, I think it's nice that we've actually got a decent amount of Red Eyes related cards. Um, Red Eyes Archfiend of Lightning. So you're an Archfiend, but you don't have the Archfiend effect. You're instead uh, a quite powerful field wiping card. But a Gemini. Dark Lord horror psychological horror game nurse. Um, Ruin Queen of Oblivion. I remember fighting in one of the World Championship games. Um, either Ruin or Demise, and they use the deck they use both Ruin and Demise. Uh, and it was actually kind of quite annoying for the time. Uh, I'm sorry, what the what the what the what? This is not Black Dragon's chick, this is Red Eyes Bee Chick! What? Who want the what now? Why are you called Black Dragon's chick now? What what happened to you? Hang on. This can't be allowed to stand. Um Red Eyes oh, I'm gonna bring up my, my display again. Red eyes, be chick. No, that's the other one. Like, what's this? What's this nonsense? Trivia. Are we not gonna are we just never going to address the fact that this card has got the wrong name? Look, there it is, Red Eyes B Chick! That's what it's called! How can they change the name of it? You can't do that! You can't do that, that's not allowed! You can't change its name! Are you kidding? What? What? Okay, I am I am outraged because I adore this card. Um, I think you've even seen me, maybe not use it, but you've seen me with it in my hand in, in the Dragon's War structure deck in World Championship. Um, on this particular outrage, uh, it's probably a good time for us to end. Um, I'll be back on Monday with presumably some more Prehistoric Kingdom. I believe I've promised to make a Torvosaurus enclosure for our first actual carnival of the game. Uh, and there's also been an update while we've been away, uh, which is not a big update, but it has added clicking and dragging a box to select stuff, which is such a quality of life improvement you can't begin to imagine. Uh, I clicked through something like a thousand individual pieces in order to break down that one building that I accidentally sucked into another building that one time. And oh my gosh, I'm so glad that we're getting Fox Select now. Uh, in the meantime, let's let's get rid of this and put us on a proper transition screen, blimey. Uh, in the meantime, uh, thank you very much for watching. If you're here with me on Twitch and you've enjoyed uh, listening to me scream at you your game for two hours 59 minutes and 47 seconds uh, then do please consider dropping a follow 
Uh, or if you're on YouTube, uh, please do like the video or even consider subscribing if you want to see more like this. Uh, everything that I ever do, including the actual World Championship uh, uh, game that I've been playing, is up there. Uh, and everything I do in the future will theoretically be archived there for posterity. Uh, you can also follow me on Twitter at DizForDemise, no underscore, where I send out a tweet every time I go live so you never have to miss one of these in the future. Other than that, this has been Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist Link Evolution. My name has been Dizzy, uh, and I will see you all next time. Ta-ra!